Hey, listen, why don't we do like a musical kind of, some, like a, I'm, I'm very interested in this as like a community bringing people together event. Yes. And um, why don't we do it like we'll sing a few Nepali songs with the children first because they're off school and teach them some English. They can teach us some Nepali yeah. and then together we'll clean the lake, you know, and we'll kind of, we'll kind of um, sell it like that, you know. Ah. We'll, we'll actually kind of promote it as a musical community, traveling community uh, thing, you know. Oh, I like that. Giving, helping each other, and I'll have the guitar. I can also bring the microphone. We can put it on quietly. Yeah. Because that's always going to create an interest, you know. That's because true. people love that. That's true. So yeah, the idea is, yeah, the idea is uh, community and um, community activities, you know. And uh, it's really nice, you know. People are really up for that, but they need to be kind of. Um, they need to be encouraged, you know, that, um, and, 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 you know, that's about leadership. So then, you know, I've, I've been traveling now for more, nearly 10 years. So it's really kind of a great thing to uh, play around with. L you know, there's a great intention, you know, we're here in Nepal and people feel really humbled and really grateful and they want to give something back. And so, you know, together we'll go and we'll clean all the plastic out of the lake in one specific area. We'll take the microphone. We'll have like a little, um, a kind of event of kind of sharing culture, you know, sharing um, goodness and um, light. And, um, you know, we can do that wherever we are, you know, Bring, it, it really, human beings are very interesting creatures because a lot of the time they really have this good intention and this desire to do something and give something back. But the community is, it becomes scary for them very quickly and nothing happens, you know, and you'll just get people sitting around smoking dope, not doing things when they really want to be doing things. And so I'm all about that. Um, I'm kind of like a honey badger for this lost potentiality. And for me, it's like a di I mean, it might sound strange to you, but for me, it's a direct instant karma. Um, the more I can do in this world, connecting people like a firefly, you know, connecting people via synchronicity, bringing people together, giving, it's about encouragement. It's about, you know, saying, yes, you can do this. You know, we can do it. It'll be great. It'll be amazing. You know, let's do it. Even if you have got wonky sunglasses because you're nearly broken them again. And, um, you know, mate, it's, it's about taking yourself seriously, but at the, t at the same time, not being, um, allowing yourself to be limited by you know this irrelevant chatter that we all get as human beings you know this kind of safety mode you know i'm all about switching off the safety mode and plunging deeply into the um relational qualities of the human and as i get older it's a great thing of course when i was younger if there was beautiful women around <clears throat> I would be floundering at some, I'd be like, oh my, you know, I used to have, we all have different stories to overcome. So whether it's me with this, you know, amazing, beautiful kind of, and then I used to get this whole kind of uh, complex where I felt like, oh, you know, if only I could be more Alex than, the, the, you know, I, I had this kind of uh, need for somebody. Um, uh, and then the great thing that happened is that I realized that this romance is um it's nice but then once you've had it it's like uh, it comes with a lot of other attached issues namaste sir sanchez nuncha oh miro de ga yeah here now kana kayo and uh going home everything good corona no three meters no stay inside yes i understand thank you sir thank you for doing this good work Three sisters, next door, it's not hotel, it's apartment, and it's upstairs, third floor, very nice place. Okay, thank you, Dai. How many of you are there? One, yes, one. Mm -hmm. any, any, any problem with Corona Pokora, no? You see, the police are out, and so am I. You just have to be nice, you know? You have to be nice, and it's like in life, you have to make an effort, you know? Because people are very sensitive more than you realize, and if they feel that you're not giving them the time, <laughs> then maybe, you know, maybe uh, that will give them reason to, you know, but you should always be very nice with police, you know, and, and then you should be very clear. 
<laughs> no, I mean, get, if you if you fight the police, you you're not gonna. It's not you know. There's you have to love them. Yeah. You know, that's where the real change happens. You have to love the authority figures because they're just doing their job. And then if that's going to cause you a big issue, then that's on you, you know. And, um, you know, the, the, the most potent way of changing things that you don't like is by first acknowledging the reality that they do exist, you know. And that's not about foisting blame onto police officers, you know. Really, it's not about that. Whether you're in England or whether you, wherever you are, you know, what they want you to do now is riot. I'm just waiting for the news to come in about the rioting. You know, they're already boarding shops up so to stop the looting. They're ready for you. For them, it's, uh, insurance is the biggest, insurance is the biggest industry, the biggest business in the world. So, you know, if you go and smash up a load of shops and loot a few uh, DVD players and uh, flat screen TVs, you're not hurting anyone. You know, um, and actually it's just bringing in more and more and more of this control system. What we have to do now as a community, as a global community, we have to rise up the really, um, you know, love all of these lizards, love them. And um, that means, you know, you emotionally put yourself on a level that is untouchable by tyranny. And, um, you know, that can go all the way to kind of... Um, well, for example, meditating through a three-year prison sentence or, you know, like at the end of the day, you maintain your respect, you admit to what you're wrong for, you know, because we should all know when we're crossing a line in ourselves and doing something that's not quite, we're not really happy with. But I would suggest that, you know, coming to know, coming to love ourselves really means all humanity and that means police officers, that means authority figures, you know, patience is really a virtue and... Um, you know, that virtue, that karma is real, you know. Whether you know it or not, you're so preoccupied with your little smartphone and whatever, then um, no. Like, human connectivity is much more than you, than you realised. And, it, and, it, and it's endless, it's bottomless. It really can be, you know. Some of the most profound things that have happened to me in my life have just been glancing interactions with people I'll never ever see again. And that's because we both know something in that moment that no one else is ready to know, but we both know it and that in that there's nothing else to say. There's just the pure love, like good luck. And nothing but pure love and happiness intention for each other, you know. You should always hope for the best for everyone. You know, even your enemies, even more so, you should, hurt, you should hope for the best for them because they're just trying their best with what they've understood about themselves and this life. Actually, we're all here under the same r rules, you know. So anyway, we're going to clean the lake after tomorrow. We're going to do a musical cleaning the lake. And um, you're most welcome here in Pokhara. And um, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Breakfast time vlogging is a good good idea, so I, I'm going to each day. So uh, eight minutes twenty-two. Namaste, namaste, sabelai, namaste.